Hey folks, okay, in this video, how far can the Sabres go next season? Realistically, let's take a look at it. Coming up. There's a few things, you know, I'm looking at, I was thinking about, I said, you know, I'm just going to make a quick video on this too. I want to talk a little bit about the season coming up. You know, we've got, uh, of course, we got all our I mean, we're almost done with the, the Stanley Cup, so now it's really back to Sabres hockey. It always has been, but I'm just saying now it's, uh, we'll be able to concentrate just on what are we going to do? What are we going to do in the draft? Are we going to make trades? Are we going to make a splash in free agency? What are we going to do? You know, these are things we have to look at. And then I was thinking, well, what is it exactly that has to go right? Because, guys, we're talking like... A 30-point gap, right? Somewhere in that ballpark. I mean, how much was it this year? I mean, to get into the playoffs, and yes, a lot can change in one year. I do get that, you know, but a lot can, you know, a lot can, uh, a lot can change in one year, yes, but my goodness. Let's take a look at the uh, wild card and the Sabres, of course, had 75 points. And the second wild card, no, it was 25, the gap. Okay, my bad, 25. Capitals had 25 points, so we were 26 points out of a playoff spot. What can go right, what can go wrong, right? I mean, we, a lot can go wrong to getting in. But I'm looking at the teams I got in. I'm looking at Carolina, the Rangers. I'm sure they're going to make it next year. Pittsburgh, Florida, Toronto, Tampa. You know, we've got to look at the bottom, I think. I really do. Whereas Boston and Washington, can one of those teams, can we climb and catch one of those teams? Anything's possible, but I don't know. I really don't know. But I'll tell you what, I was looking at, um, I want to bring this up before I forget because my head's all over the place, guys, and it's kind of um, where I'm at with it. For this, for this to happen next year, for us to have a realistic miracle jump into a playoff spot next year, I think it's going to concentrate a lot on guys like Dylan Cousins, Peyton Krebs, Jack Quinn, J.J. Paterka, uh, Matthias Samuelson, Owen Power. I really think it's going to depend on all the youngsters. But, you know, what can they do? How much can they elevate their game next year? This is really important. Because if we can, you know, and yes, of course, we need to get a goalie, right? We need to get a goalie, which I'm going to show you a proposed trade, guys. And no, this was not my trade, but you got to see this trade to believe it. Let me uh, actually show you that clip right now. Here we go. All right, Buffalo gets John Gibson. And look on the right, guys. Look at this proposed trade. Guys, we can't be this desperate. Devin Levi, Casey Middlestat, J.J. Paterka, and the 16th pick in this year's first round. No, 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 absolutely no. We don't, we don't get desperate like that. My goodness. We can't do that and expect like, to have any kind of future, guys. You know what I mean? We, can, we can't like, start throwing away all our assets because we're panicking to get a goalie. I think what we have to do is uh, we're going to have to be aggressive in free agency. Not in a trade so much, but in free agency. We've got to keep our assets, okay? This is, for me, this is, without a doubt, the Sabres have to keep their assets. They cannot start pawning all their assets off. That's a panic move. And we, we don't want to panic. It's the dumbest thing we could do, guys, is like take four big assets and then, uh, you know, yeah, okay, so it solves our goaltending crisis for maybe five, four or five years, sure. But it also takes away from our goaltending future. It takes away from our, our, our youth. It there's just too much it takes away from a trade like that. And I think you guys would probably be having a fit if we ever pulled a trade like this, if we ever did something like this. This is just an, a trade offer that a Sabres fan had slapped together and, uh, and um, on uh, Cap Friendly, and I, I got a kick out of it, so I, I just uh, chopped it up and... Wanted to show you that clip. No, we cannot go that crazy. We can't, you know. But what we can do, we can look at a guy like Campbell. We can look at, uh, we, we, there's guys we can look at in free agency, absolutely. And yes, we can be aggressive. We have the money. 
we have the money and um, somebody's going to be willing to cash in that's willing to bring their services over, I'm sure of it. And if the Sabres can go that route and we next year, let's say that the kids really react well, and I'm talking really react good, I'm expecting a big bounce back from uh, Dylan Cousins this year, for example. There's guys I'm expecting to see take the next step, you know, take another step up. Uh, Cousins is establishing himself more and more as a good defensive forward. You know, of course he can get points too. I'm not saying he can't, but at the same time, we got to look at all, all the cliches that, that championship teams have. You know, we have to have that guy on our team that can shut down the opposition, not just score. You know, you got to have the guys that can make the big play. Yes, we got to look at the right shot defenseman. There's things we still have to look at. We have this off season, we have a lot of money. The Sabres have a lot of money to play with. Now, they can't be stupid with it all, of course not, but there is money there that can be spent and we can make sure that we're a competitive team. Because we can't just, uh, if we're going to bargain basement everything this offseason like we did last year, of course it's going to be a season we miss the playoffs, guys. I mean, it's, I think it's obvious, right? If we go and we start doing the... Uh, you know, the thing where we're, we're going to get the, the million dollar goalie again and things like this. No, no, we're going to have to like make a, a splash in free agency uh, for goaltending. Probably a defenseman too, I'm guessing. Forwards probably wouldn't be as much, I would think, on the agenda as, you know, defense and, uh, and, and goaltending. But especially goaltending. Goaltending is going to be the number one thing, absolutely, this offseason that we have to address. So... You know, if we can get that done, guys, we won't have to look at, you know, trading away the farm to get a goalie, which I don't think we have to. I think the Sabres just have to go and be realistic, go after the proper players that we believe can fit us. You know, like a guy like back in the day, Teppo Numenen. I remember when we went after him. And that turned out to be one of our smartest signings, really, historically. It really was. It was such a perfect fit at the time. And when we first did it, I wasn't that excited about it, you know, not until I seen how the fit was after. So we got to get a goalie that's going to fit in right. We, got, we can't just get a guy because he's a big name, he gets paid a lot of money, and uh, a guy that just might be um, a, a maybe a, a few inches better than what we've had recently. No, we can't. We can't do that. So I think what the Sabres will have to do is avoid those kind of crazy trades, okay? And we're going to have to uh, be aggressive in free agency, get, get our goalie there. And yeah, we can make trades. And yes, we can use a first rounder. We can, okay? But it has to make a lot of sense. It can't just be a desperation move. See, like that trade proposal I showed you guys, that would be a desperation move. I think we all know that. It would be a desperation move. And where's it going to bring us in the near future? Probably nowhere, really. You know, sure, it would stabilize the net, having a guy like Gibson there, but how much do we have to give up? You know, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And also, he is a no-trade clause, so I don't even know if we're on his list. So, all right, guys, just wanted to throw that out there. That's it. I am going to go relax. I'm going to do my best, guys, to make my comeback soon, okay? Apologies. I'm just, as you see right now, I'm just sweating like crazy as I'm speaking here. It's nuts. It's just nuts. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the game tonight. If I'm at all a tad better, I will throw another video up there later on. See you then, guys.